Hello Internet, this is a short video about using the nebulizer for cats. So this has been recommended by my veterinarian. This is the Rosemax NB80. So this thing, although it has a 3 years warranty, it can last up to 5 years. So the packaging has been opened, but basically I'll show you what's included. This is the nebulizer unit. The air tube, yeah, and this is where the sealing solution is placed into. You can see there's the max level here, so it's not assembled that way, but basically, it's the cup, this top part, and then this part the breathing thing. I don't know what it's called. So, there are other things included as well. So definitely you get the adapter, the air filter, and this mask, which I won't be using. There is also a cloth to keep the nebulizer unit. So I'll just put this away. So first things first, how to set it up. Okay. The nebulizer unit looks like this. It's a little bit heavy, right? Okay. So basically this part is where you put in the ceiling solution again you cover it and you attach this part top here now this thing will affect the how the mist will come out so i usually just close the whole thing okay there's this little uh, wedge here where you can place it to rest and with the air tube all right you want to connect here the top part the bottom part here okay so with the air filter what I do is I take a paper clip and wedge it open okay so it's basically like this little sponge in the so we need to change it about every two months. Uh, there's actually a booklet that comes with this item. Sorry, so this one's supposed to be so Oh no. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna need to figure this out. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go. Alright. So in the booklet. Oh, it's a lot. I won't be able to show you. But basically, it mentions that the main unit can be used up to five years, nebulizer kit up to one year, the air tube up to one year, the air filter 60 days. Uh, so, everything can be cleaned regularly except for this air tube. Okay. And I also have this uh, accessory pack. Basically, is when I need to change any of the components or if I lost it or whatnot. So it includes all this stuff. Okay, so the next thing is the sealing solution. So this is commonly seen in the pharmacy with sodium chloride 0.9%. Now some people say that okay you can just get this big bottle since it's like one liter and you can last it for quite a long time but I was also told by the vet it's really about how hygienic you can keep the item so I would also actually recommend something like this like a valve there are smaller valves I've seen probably around 3 ml but this is the one that can easily get from the pharmacy so whichever you use keep it to the maximum level and if let's say you're using this one, 
discard the, uh, the remaining solution after 24 hours. So this one, you can buy like a single pack like this from the pharmacy or you can buy this from online as well. Right. Open this up. Okay. So basically, looks like this. So it can last quite long as well and, and you can be sure that it's really hygienic. So what I do is, after I open up this pack, right, I'm not going to open this file because I'm not using it yet. I have this small little container where I just store it like this. And then whenever I need to wash the mouthpiece, because this is quite important to be washed. Let's say if you're using between two cats, you need to make sure that, you know, if one cat cough or sneeze on this, it won't get, it, it won't cause cross, cause cross contamination. So I have this little peg hook, right? And usually when it's done, I just, when I wash the finish, I just put it like this and then hang it on the wall. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, next, I'll be showing you a picture of how to use this uh, nebulizer. Basically, it's with a carrier, you cover it with a towel or a scarf, make sure it's all secured, and then you turn this thing on. Alright, so it's quite noisy when it's turned on, so the next short clip will be how uh, when it's turned on. So here we have a carrier. The size of the carrier really depends on the size of the cat. If you have a small cat, it's more suitable to have a small carrier, of course. So when you put a cat inside, just make sure that it's calm, it's not agitated, you know, because especially when you use it for a cat for the first time, they may not be used to the sound and they get all panicky. Right, so normally what I do is, because the cat's inside, the carrier and then I use a scarf. You can also use a towel depending on you know whether what works well for you. The main purpose is just to make sure that you know there's no holes where the saline solution will leave the carrier the carrier. Okay so let's say you have a cat that is pretty tolerant of the nebulizer. So uh, of course not all cats, they are okay immediately with it, it takes some time. So it's always best, you know, try and see, give it a, the cat a few seconds, how it reacts, and then you increase minute by minute. So normally what I do is, uh, one side of the carrier, I'll use a binder clip. You know, just to secure um, the scarf or the towel. Then, I'll put the nebulizer unit you should always try to make sure that it's on a flat surface because if it's not it will make a very weird sound okay so what I'll do is the kit itself I will make the mouthpiece kind of like resting on the side of the carrier okay then after that I'll just you know close this holding up make sure everything is okay and snug and then I'm gonna turn this on okay so uh, it's gonna be a bit loud, yeah? Alright, now I'm turning it on. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to on the switch. Okay, the switch is on. Alright, I'm gonna turn it on now. So that's kind of how it sounds. If let's say the ceiling solution is almost finished, then the sound will be different and you'll kind of know. Okay, so... Um, sometimes, you know, you have a cat that is very playful and energetic and just wouldn't want to chill out. So, same thing what I'll do is, uh, find a clip on the side and I'll just hold on to the uh, nebulizer kit and turn it on like that. And then sometimes, if let's say the cat's in a bad mood or you know, just really restless. What I'll do is I'll open the carrier and then I'll just put the kit as close as possible to where the cat would 
allowing. So yep, that that's about it. And then you just put it on for 15 to 25 minutes. It really depends on the case of the cat. But of course, um, I was told that the intervals of the nebulizer is really important. So if let's say you have a cat with respiratory issue, it will be good to do at least one time in the morning and then one time in the night. But yep, it does depend on your schedule. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching.